Hey, what's up, party people? Guess what? Yeah, this is Sean Edwards, your boy, and I'm all the way in London, and you know why I'm here. You already saw the Batmobile, so guess what? I know you've been waiting for a very, very, very long time, and it's finally here. Justice League, the movie, and you already know who's in the flick. Superman, Batman, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Flash, and a couple of others. But all you gotta do is sit back and watch these hot interviews that are about to come up right now at Cinema Buzz. How you doing, man? Very well. How are good. you? I'm good, man. Congratulations, good. man. You finally did it. Everybody been they've been waiting forever for the hey, he's coming in the shot. So Yeah. Cow. Hey. Cool. Hey. See now people know these things aren't Cal. fake. Go on. But you got it. But now, so because people just saw him. What type of dog is that? It's an American Akita. Okay, cool. Very cool dog. But also really cool, Justice League finally brought to life. You know, people have been waiting forever to see this happen. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to finally like present this to the world? Oh, um, it feels wonderful. It's uh, something which has obviously been in the making for a long time with the filmmakers. And to be a part of this and to see these heroes realized so well, they, the actors have done an incredible job with representing these heroes and building these characters and, and making them unique and individual to, to themselves while keeping them true to the comic books. Yeah, that's they very They really well have said. done a good very job. Very well said. Now, personally, who do you identify with more? Clark Kent or Superman? Um, to me personally, I don't. I don't think they're different as far as who to identify with. I know. I, I know people from the outside may see them as two different characters because they would only ever meet them as two separate characters. But for me, I've developed a very close personal relationship with Kal El, and Kal El is also Clark and Superman. And with that, I identify with both. Both equally, I identify with. Both the responsibility for Superman never changes whether he's being Clark. It's not like I've taken the cape off and now <laughs> right. I'm being Clark and <laughs> right, exactly. I'm just not going to think about saving people or, or what, what really matters in the world or making everyone else around me better. He's still doing that. He's just doing it not in his, in his uniform. Is it weird to bring this concept to life because now the entire movie is populated with all the different superheroes? Or does it make life a little easier for you because it's not just the film where it's all centered on you. I think it's important to see the perspective, and we really see that, of what Superman is. We see what these superheroes believe of Superman to be, and what he was for them. And now that he's gone, that point is made even more powerful. You see the, the, the loss felt by the planet, and you see how these heroes would reference Superman or think about Superman and say that he's, he's, he's the ultimate, he's the big step. He was, he was the reason why they started doing what they were doing. And now he's gone. Congratulations, man. Thank Keep you. up the good work, man. I appreciate it, bro.